Hello! Another time, another video. So this time it is all about the power of comments in social media. And uh, why do I come to the idea that these things, those small little notes have a lot of power. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Oliver. I run four KFCs in Switzerland and I'm a volunteer and fireman. Today I had a wonderful scenario that I got a message from YouTube that I um, got a reply on one of my comments on another person's video. Which was about multi-tools. Um, multi-tools like a Leatherman, which is like a synonymous word for it. Leatherman Search is a bigger tool. I made videos on it, which I will leave here. And when it comes to multi-tools in different countries, there are a lot of regulations on it. For example, in Germany, you sh it's not allowed to have a tool which you can use with one hand and the blade will lock. Um, this is like this one here. You can use it with one hand and the blade will stay in place. That's not allowed in Germany because it's considered to be a weapon. There was a change in the law a few years ago. If the blade is inside of the tool and you have to take two hands to get access to it or if it's not locking in place, then it's allowed to have it. Hmm. We don't need to understand the lawmaker's decision on it, but we have to accept that they put some thoughts and effort into it to make the right call to protect us as people. At least that's my hope. It makes me feel a lot better if that's the case. Now, the discussion on, that, on, the, on the tweet was, hey, live in, the, live in the UK, in terms of, hey, here the laws are also strict or stupid or whatever because in Switzerland you basically allowed to use a multi-tool you're allowed to do that in the US and in many many other countries you don't have any restrictions on using tools with you Germany when you have a tool with you you have to have a purpose for it like you go to work or whatever and you work with that tool and then you have allowed to have it with you but not easy accessible it needs to be stored away like in your toolbox whatever the question now in mind is that with the comments you might even give someone an idea what to do instead if you already have a solution. It doesn't take a full scale video, a fancy posting, a carousel on social media like Instagram. Sometimes it's just the simple words of, hey, it's a good call that there's the Leatherman Bond or now the Future Curl, which offer, let's say, a, a legally safe solution for your problems. It's probably not the best solution because you want to have an easy one-hand accessible tool or one-hand accessible knife. But if you have a knife with you and you have to take the extra hand, that already helps. I mean, in my case, I carry my Leatherman on my left pocket and therefore I usually have to take a second hand because it's not one hand opened with the left hand. So I have to take the left hand, take it to my right. It's not perfect. But it came to the fact that my phone is on the right pocket because I use it more often. Maybe I'll change that in the future, but for now, phone more often than the multi-tool. I think that's not surprising. There are other, there have been other postings in the past where people were just looking for a solution and not looking for a coaching or looking for a deeply inside whatever. Maybe it's just like an A-B thing. And many of the uh, YouTubers right now use this kind of polls to get a quick understanding of where to go and um, in a smaller scale if you don't want to make a poll or you're not able to because you don't have enough subscribers it is maybe just this one single question of hey would you recommend a Yelgato cam or uh, the capture card or you would you would say like the cheap one is totally fine because you do not want to have the full insight and maybe you have it already but you want to have an opinion from some people using that stuff or people asking me on my, my, my backpack videos, how about the durability? Like everything is fine, but how about the durability? Maybe it's a question not answered. Maybe not answered by the creator. Maybe not answered by myself if I'm the creator. And maybe I can just quickly give a feedback, give an answer on that one. And that make maybe the deciding factor for a purchase decision for affirmation. Yeah? If someone says like, hey, I bought X, Y, Z, I'm not sure about blah, blah, blah. If, if that helps that person, that's already going to be a major difference for that one. And I had it in the past as well. I had it with multi-tools, I had it with my Skeletool, I had it with the ZV-1, 
there were so many things that the deciding factor at the end for a certain decision was just made out of a comment, made out of a small remark. And therefore, guys, please comment on videos. Not just because it helps the creator, it helps it with the algorithm, uh, promoting videos and all that stuff. I mean, this is one part where you can help the creator of the content. But you also help other viewers because I, I, ca I caught myself watching and videos and then reading part of the comments, at least the ones pinned up or the ones being promoted due to the sheer amount of, um, let's say, uh, likes and stuff on it. But um, yeah, be aware of it. And if this um, helps you in your life and we all give a little of our opinion in a, in a positive, please keep that in mind, in a positive, uh, constructive way, there's going to be a lot of good out of it. I mean, we don't want to have flame wars. We don't want to have hate speech and all that stuff because that doesn't give us any benefit and will not bring us any further. Um, but on the other hand, if it makes us smile or if it gives us the little edge on our decision, we should all be happy on those comments. And uh, therefore, um, commenting is good. That's my take on it. So from my side for today, that was this video about the whole topic of the power of commenting. Um, I hope you could take something out of it for your life. And uh, yeah, I would say have fun on social media. Um, I will put two more videos on the left and the right side of myself. One's going to be a playlist and the other going to be my latest video. So by the time you're watching this, there will be also something new, not something from this day's today. And on the playlist, I will put something like stay on track with me. This is a combination of videos, which I have also of my general experiences at work, running for restaurants, where you always get some small little insights on easy parts, like task chain management, planning things, focusing, etc. And if there's something valuable inside for you, have a look at it and as usual make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this one and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you have the opportunity in the future to be first when new content comes out or at least have the chance to have it on your for you page if you do not want to ring the bell because i know it from my side uh, i only have a few channels and this major one is marshall fox channel um, you should check him out I will leave a link up there where I have the notification bell ring because if he puts out content that that's on fire that's gonna be lit uh, just can encourage you to watch this video about his studio setup and his chair massive thanks a lot see you next time bye bye